of the holiest days of the year for NFL fans is Thanksgiving. Well, for Cowboys and Lions fans, at least, the holy day of football is Thanksgiving. The most, one of the most celebrated days in all of the NFL season is Thanksgiving. But the slate this year is not looking too pretty, especially with the Ravens and the Steelers potentially getting called off due to COVID-related issues. Uh, I don't know if that game is going to be called off. I'm not going to. We'll see after my recap um, Monday night. We'll see. Um, but if this game gets called off, I don't know. You know, but yeah. But first up on Thanksgiving, we have the Texans and the Lions. And I do not care for this matchup. Moving on. We, there, there's, a, there's some other stuff going on at that time anyway. <laughs> but first place in the NFC East. It's going to be the Cowboys taking on the Washington football team. And, you know, Alex Smith, the comeback story, you know, has been doing pretty interesting so far. It's been pretty cool to see Alex Smith back. And the Washington football team just absolutely destroyed Dallas last time. And Andy Dalton, you know, he's back. He's, he's playing again. And, you know, the team that knocked him out of the game for a couple weeks looking for the sweep and the lead in the NFC East. So we'll find out, you know, what's going to happen there. As we get to Sunday, however, uh, uh, not really particularly interesting for the most part. You know, until, you know, the, uh, the late games. But, you know, the, the Dolphins are taking on the Jets. The Cards taking on the pa- Patriots. Panthers taking on the Vikings, the Browns taking on the Jets, uh, the Giants are taking on the Bengals, and uh, um, the Raiders are taking on the Falcons, <laughs> and the Chargers are taking on the Bills. Honestly, none of these matchups appeal to me at all, aside from the Titans and the Colts. And these two teams are riding off momentum. Gonna be fun. How can the Colts stop Derrick Henry? You know, can Phil Rivers not be a liability and not throw terrible interceptions? You know, the team has to get it together on offense because they fumbled and turned it over a lot against the Packers. So that's going to be very interesting to see. And the Titans need to wake up. They need to wake up this time. They can't. They, they can't fall asleep this time. They got to wake up, stay awake the entire game. They have to play a full four quarters to beat the Colts. Then we move on to the late games, and um, there's only one. There's only one game that matters in this slot, and that's the lone 425-325 Central game. You know, Saints-Broncos is also there, but eh, 49ers-Rams, meh. It's just there. Honestly, the game of the day is going to be Chiefs, Bucks, Mahomes versus Brady, another chapter in in this great, great sport of maybe the the old guard of the AFC taking on the new guy, the new king of the AFC. It's gonna be one hell of a matchup. The Bucks need to get a victory though. They need to get a victory. They've been looking kind of iffy over the past few weeks, especially getting dominated by the Saints. Um, you know, and, and losing to the Rams. They need to get it together. Chiefs just looking to stay in it. They're looking to stay in it. Sunday night? Ugh. Not particularly interesting. Um, the Bears are back in prime time taking off the Packers. You know what? Aaron Rodgers is going to be angry. He's going to be finding Devontae Adams and Aaron Jones all over the field. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't even know who the starter is going to be for the Bears. You know, Nick Foles injured, Mitchell Trubisky, eh, I think he's injured too. So I have no idea what in the world's going to happen. We'll see Sunday night. And then Monday night, also a bad matchup. Seahawks, Eagles. There's really no way you can hype this up. You can't hype this up. It's not a good matchup. Seahawks, you know, if 
the if the defense can actually play against a horrid offense in the Eagles, we're talking pretty bad. You know, if if the Seahawks get turnovers on the Eagles, I think this one's going to be over pretty quickly. So, no reason to talk about that game. But Ravens Steelers on Thursday, keep an eye on that. Titans Colts, then you know the um, then the Chiefs Bucks, keep an eye on that. I'll try to keep my eye on the new on the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles because you know first place in the NFC East, la da la da la da. But I don't wanna, I really don't. So, yeah, that'll do it. Week twelve, NFL. I I know I don't have a lot to say this time around because I mean, come on, slate is not particularly interesting. There's a lot of teams. And it's mostly because of the 14-team playoff this year. I mean, honestly, we really separated, you know, the who's going and who's not going to the playoffs. We really separated that already, aside from the NFC East, of course. Um, but, yeah. Like, most of these teams losing records, taking on teams winning records, I really have no desire to see those games. I don't want to see big time matchups, so and we just don't have that this week. So, well, aside from a couple spread out throughout the day, we just don't have that. But yeah, week twelve, NFL season. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments section below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Click the notification bell, and come on back down, and we'll see you after Monday night.